I am the motographer, a photographer, a long distance motorcyclist and an entrepreneur. And I'm trying to build an exciting living and working space bringing together my love for motorcycling, gadgets and technology. A place unlike no other in India. This is the Moto Villa. So guys, abhi mein, finally I'm here one more time. So, kuch progress hua hai, you know, because this place is there since a few months, like almost a year. But this room is going to be where most of the magic will happen. So this is the Moto Cave version 2. Abhi aap jo dekh rahe ho idhar, this is a blank canvas. I mean, I, the first step that I did is basically to get all the walls done in this way with the brick wallpaper configuration jo abhi bhi like the kind of stuff that we have in our existing headquarters at XBHP. And uh, there were a few challenges which I had faced. So let me tell you that this part, actually this is a sliding door. So the idea is to get the motorcycle from inside here into this place from that door, which is also the entrance. And then when you close this, so now this whole room is kind of soundproofed and as you can see there is the only texture which you see right now is a brick texture and the only anomaly which is not fit the battery you know the battery is not battery hai, wo ye hai, the marble floor so marble floor is because it's white and right now of course the lighting which i'm planning is going to be rgb lighting which i have in the current motor cave and it's going to completely change the look of this room. So right now, there are three things in this room. Let me put it like four things. One is this light, one is this camera, and one is this gentleman here. And I'm going to do unboxing of this gentleman over here. And you can obviously figure it out that it's a statue. And I have done quite a few unboxings of, you know, collectors, collectibles which I've got from more than 50 countries around the world. But this one takes the cake and everything. Um, this is the biggest collectible till now that I've got. I mean, I'm 5 feet 11 inches. So it's just little taller than me. I think this must be 6 feet 2. And most of you might have already guessed that ye kya hai. So uh, I'll open this up in a little bit. The other thing which I'm going to tell you right now is that the floor, I'm going to do the entire floor, uh, floor in black so that it actually matches the whole theme of the room. There is one more thing which is left. If you look up on the ceiling, you can see there are white uh, outlines which will be painted in black. So this is going to be the best unboxing of my life and I think this is going to be the second unboxing here after the BenQ projectors. Um, let's get down to it. All right, so this is the first time I'm taking the Hayabusa inside the Moto Villa. And let's see how it goes. lesson which I already knew about is don't get by with dirty tires here. As you can see what is happening. But uh, these can be cleaned easily because these are gym mats. So I don't have to worry about all those things. But I have a tire foam. So you know that we can use to clean the tires before we get the bikes inside. The second bike is the Rocket 3 which is standing outside which we also have to get in. So let's go.
Only the second time it is coming here. The first time I had got it was in the black room with black condition. This time it is um, red black. It is kind of yellow green. So let me take this moment. Look at this. These two bikes here and a dirty floor, a dirty floor which we shall fix very soon. So, Manu bhai, Manu bhai, aapko kya lagta hai ki configuration kya se hai? Bike, bikes ki thodi si mere ghar se teddy ko mila. Hmm, to se hai na. Because usme ek tere jagah hai. Toh mera kya hai? Toh ki hum dono bikes ko ek aise aise lagaye. Because there's two here. अगर आप ऐसे ही तो ऐसे ही रहेंगे, ऐसे तो नाम रहेंगे। हाँ, ठीक है। और ये जो है, यहाँ पे basically जो screen वगैरह लगा सकते हैं। Fifty five inches होले हैं। हाँ। LG, tiltable, ठीक है? Right. And then यहाँ पे नीचे you have the clock screens, three clock screens, तो नीचे table पे। Thirty four inches, like one, two, three, also tiltable, and यहाँ पे हमारा वो desktop रहेगा। यहाँ पे लैपटॉप लगेगा, यहाँ पे वो टेबल होगी यहाँ पे, जिसमें भी मोड़ लेंगे तो मान सेंटर, हाँ और यार ये जो है ना, ये जो बेसिक चीज़ हम इसको साइड का काम फेयर काम फेयर काम फेयर काम फेयर में इसको रखा हुआ है, काम फेयर में और नीचे वो गोल्ड रूम भी मिलता है, ब्लैक रूम सॉरी, the S2 is going inside the motor villa and here is the FTR 1200 so we are going to take both of the bikes inside yesterday we saw the Hayabusa and the Rocket also go inside and uh, let's see I mean the widest bike the biggest bike that I have is the Rocket so if that could make it this should be easy here we go So, as expected, eh, sometimes it slips off the ramp. Now, talking about that, uh, this is basically a custom ramp that I had got built to go over this. And of course, that thing which you saw behind me, which was the main entry gate. So, that those are custom wooden ramps built according to the size. Now, you just take it out like this. And we're going to close this. And this whole world, like this part of the motor villa, becomes a different world altogether, you know. And as you can see here, this is a side which is giving me goosebumps because here is the Rocket 3, here is the Hayabusa, and here is the H2, the world's fastest bike. And now we have to figure out the location that would be appropriate for this. Right, so uh, I was thinking that, you know, we will put the H2 here and it will take some amount of effort to get it here. The other option which we have is to place the H2 over here so that it overlaps the Rocket 3 half and half of Hayabusa, but that will mean that the Hayabusa gets hidden. And of course, the machines can swap the places as in, you know, they want. All right, so the H2 has been placed over there. And uh, the easiest bike I think to take out would be whatever is standing here, just from here down the ramp. And I think this is a pretty awesome, I mean, awe inspiring setup. What can I say? I mean, it's like pretty cool. This is, this is how I actually imagined. I mean, a little different because I imagine that all the three bikes are going to stand like this one two and three but I think this is a more uh, it's a better setup because I think it's looking bigger this whole space 
and it's just giving that the ultimate vibe even without all those lights and collectibles that are still yet to come now other problems you know like collector problems or interior designer problems or whatever are that where should i place the castle gray skull where should i place the spawns where should i place the the army collection that i have the moto gp collection i have the 3000 hot wheel cars that i have so that all those are good problems to have now let's get the ftr 1200 but that is not going to come here that is we have another area for that come okay then now the time is for the ftr 1200 All right, so we have got the FTR also here, and uh, I think I'm going to call this place the uh, Moto Cafe, and you know it, it will be nice to have a small uh, neon sign here and other stuff like maybe a coffee maker, and uh, you never know like when you start looking out for you know things on the internet and uh, thrift shops and all these kind of places. you find a lot of stuff so this bike i think this is the most graceful industrial looking motorcycle in my garage and the most appropriate for uh, to be in a cafe mm, i think rocket 3 will also look good with something which shows off its engine but the rocket 3 will be really too big for you so uh, what i need is now one bike uh, machine for the theater one for the motor launch and one for the kitchen and uh, one for i think my master bedroom so let's see uh, what i can find what we can conjure up you never know all right so uh, it's all good for now uh, my tea is absolutely finished and look at this look at this cup so there is a lady riding uh, guess what uh, yellow Bajaj se tak same as the one in the motor lawn. So take care, you guys, and enjoy, and uh, just do whatever you do with uh, your heart and soul. In 2002, I found xbhp.com, which became India's most popular motorcycling platform and community, and then a print magazine as well. Since 2006, I have been riding around the world on choicest of bikes and sometimes cars too. Along the way, I picked up the bug for collecting stuff after the end of every ride that I did. This led to the building of XBHP headquarters which also showcased my collection and eventually the place itself became quite interesting with a lot of people coming to visit and shoot it even though it was a very small place but as we know places become big with the ideas they give birth to Finally in 2021 we decided to try and build a space which would not only serve as the XPHP headquarters but also it will be an experience and space unlike anything else in India so far a man cave a living space a working space a gaming space showcase of our collection and integrating some of the best gadgets and lots more and we call this the Moto Villa